For almost 10 years, I've been building games inside of Scratch. From my first ever Scratch game, Don't Burn Mimi, to over 10 years later with Space All Alone, I thought I had mastered the limits of what Scratch could do. And it was kinda true. I had basically mastered Scratch. With almost 7.5 thousand followers on my now banned Scratch account, Suli Bully, that's when I decided to ditch Scratch. Five years ago, I had basically mastered what I could do in Scratch at the time. I was young and didn't have a lot of options to go to next, so when I found an ad for Unity in my mailbox, I was pretty much hooked at the opportunity to take my game dev skills to the next level. The first thing I noticed when I downloaded and opened up Unity was, wow. I felt like a complete beginner again. I mean, just look at all the buttons and menus. It's nothing compared to Scratch's drag and drop blocks anymore. Scratch's learning curve is basically non-existent. To use Scratch, all you need to know is know how to read, which anyone over the age of five can do. And let's not even talk about Scratch Jr. But over with Unity, there was just so much to take in. What's a game object? What is a hierarchy? A quaternion? Unity is a pretty powerful game engine, but seriously intimidating at first especially for someone who's been using Scratch all his life. And that was just the start. When you first transition from Scratch to Unity, the first thing that'll take some time to learn is the programming language. While Scratch is kind of a programming language in itself, Unity is just the game engine, and the language that Unity uses to code with is C-sharp. That means you have to learn two new things, Unity and C-sharp, neither of which are easy to learn. So after messing around in Unity for a couple of hours, I decided it was time to dive in and try making something simple. In Scratch, I could whip up a game in 10 minutes. Unity? No. I started small, just a basic 2D platformer game, but even that was a challenge for me. In Scratch, the art and code editor are built right in, but in Unity, you have to create and import everything yourself. There's a different program for both creating the code and for drawing the art. And there isn't a drawing editor built in, so you couldn't whip up a quick prototype like you could in Scratch. Instead, you have to go into a program like Photoshop, which isn't easy to learn at first. Instead of dragging out if key right arrow press change x by 10, you do void update if input dot get key key code dot write transform dot translate vector three dot write times 10 times time dot delta time. Because of these differences in the programming languages, I spent hours just figuring out how to move my character. Luckily, I had just found my new savior, Brackies. After a couple days of binge watching Brackies, my new messiah for Unity tutorials, I had a completed 2D platformer game, which I called Cyro. I would eventually go on to post this game on the Apple App Store and Google Play, but it got taken down a few years later for unauthorized collection of private data or something like that. Blast you, EU privacy protection data laws. Anyways, the point is, while it did take me significantly longer, I was able to do a lot more with the game I had just created. With Scratch, you aren't able to publish games on anything other than the Scratch website. You can only share it on Scratch itself, and that's pretty frustrating if you want to expand your horizons beyond the kiddish website. With my Unity game though, I was able to publish the game on both Android and iPhone app stores. And if I wanted to, I could probably put it on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, even Steam. I'm also 90% sure you can port your game to a toaster, but good luck trying to move your character with the toast button. I have to admit, while Unity is super powerful, I really miss the simplicity of Scratch. Like, I can just snap blocks together and see an idea come to life within minutes. Instead of creating a fully functional game with main menus, game over screens, leaderboards, etc., I can just whip up a simple Flappy Bird game without spending too much time or effort. Scratch is excellent for whipping up fast little game prototypes, and that's actually how I've been using it in the past few years. My game, Airplane, first started off as a simple Scratch game. I don't know why, but when I first shared Airplane on Scratch, it got quite a bunch of attention, with almost 10,000 loves and favorites. But I'm not too certain, as my account was deleted, so thanks a lot Scratch team. Anyways, I ended up making a whole series of Airplane games, from Airplane 1 to Airplane 6. So fast forward a couple years to when I started making Unity games, I also decided to recreate some of my old Scratch games. First up, remastering Airplane inside of Unity. The Unity version of Airplane took me almost one year to fully create, and by the time I was done, I was exhausted. It had four completely different worlds, a shop with actual skins, weapon power-ups, and even a mod I coded for you to be able to hear the enemy airplane radar. It even has multiplayer, which I'm not even sure how I managed to do back then. Remaking my Scratch game inside of Unity was a crazy experience for me, especially since I was just coming in fresh off the Scratch boat. Unity doesn't have any of the limitations of Scratch. Imagine Scratch, but without the 300 clone restriction, the 2D stage, the small screen size, and the somewhat beginnerish blocks. For me, it was like going from a tricycle to a Kawasaki Ninja H2. The Ninja H2 is my dream bike, but my mother won't let me buy it. So I expect all of you watching right now to subscribe so I can hit 1 million subscribers and finally be able to- yeah. Anyways, back to Unity, instead of the when green flag clicked, you have void start. Instead of the forever block, you have update loops. Update, fixed update, and late update. We don't have the scratch cat. We got bean. Turn 15 degrees, 
No, here at Unity, there's only transform dot rotation times equals quaternion dot identity plus quaternion dot Euler angles times vector three dot right. Everything takes so much longer to create, from the drawing, the art, to the coding. But in the end, the game is a thousand times better than I could have made in Scratch. And once I realized that I could <coughs> easily implement multiplayer into my game, I knew that I was never gonna go back to little old Scratch anytime soon. Just recently, I was finishing up college, and for my final class, I had to create a video game. So instead of making some random old game I'll just forget about for the rest of my life, I decided I was gonna remake Airplane inside of Unity, but it was gonna be 3D. So together with my two teammates, we created Airplane 3D, and this was the first game I've ever published on Steam. Airplane 3D in Unity is everything that I couldn't do in Scratch. From fighting actually intelligent AI aerial enemies, to saving people, to racing through buildings like a pilot. Maybe I might even add multiplayer if it gets enough players. Be sure to check it out on Steam. With Unity, there is a lot more setup time. You need to polish the game to meet quality guidelines on publishing platforms. Make sure you don't have any copyrighted music so you don't get sued and draw all of the art and assets. You might be saying, why can't we just use the default sprite library? Oh, you poor thing never been outside Scratch before? You see, with Unity and any other reasonable game engine, you can't just steal random images off of Google and use in your game. There's something called plagiarism and something a lot of Scratchers probably haven't heard about. Just imagine if a little Scratch Timmy was blasted into a world where he can't just blatantly remix a game without changing anything, or illegally stealing rights to Pokemon by using Pikachu in his game. That's called the real world, and Scratch is basically a bubble that protects all of its users from the harsh realities of the outside game development world, like copyright infringement, which doesn't even exist on Scratch. Speaking of Scratch, the remix culture on it is pretty terrible. On Scratch, you can just remix a project and reshare it on your own account. This is great for people who want to add customization to a project that they love, but it also introduces quite a bit of problems. How many times have you seen someone remix your game and barely change anything, but also claim the credit for your hard work? When you publish your own game, your work is your own, protected by intellectual property rights of the United States of America. Good luck to all the third world countries out there. Another advantage to using an actual game engine is monetization. Scratch doesn't let you make any money off of your projects and I would honestly hate to see the website if they did allow that. Imagine platformer, a platformer, but you have to pay $200 for something that this guy cranked out in five minutes. Scratch would turn into a war zone with little Timmy's fighting for control over the mother's stolen credit cards. However, using another game engine lets you also explore the possibility once you're good enough at coding. For the advanced scratchers who are ready to turn game development into a career or even a job, you should not be using Scratch anymore. Like, just why? You could be doing so much more. In Scratch, you aren't allowed to share links to external websites that let you get money off of your game. But with a game made inside of a game engine, you can sell it on publishing platforms and monetize your passion. Like with my most popular game on Scratch, Airplane, sure, I did gain a few 10,000 likes, but I really didn't gain anything from the game other than a little knowledge and experience with the Scratch algorithm, which is broken by the way. But when I did publish the Unity version of Airplane on Steam, I was able to rake in a few hundred dollars just like that. Imagine making money off of your games. With Scratch, that's basically impossible. In Scratch, everything is beginner friendly. You can create a game without having to go through all the works of publishing, rights, and worrying about how the game looks. Finishing a game in less than an hour in Scratch is not unheard of. In fact, I have a video where I did just that, challenging myself to create a Scratch game in less than one hour, and it was actually pretty easy. In Scratch, you're limited by its simplicity, but that's also its strength in the fact that it takes very little to create a fun, playable game or prototype. In Unity, you're only limited by your knowledge and creativity. It's way harder to learn, but the reward in the end is much bigger. However, with Unity, I spent 30 minutes just trying to fix one small bug, and that's not even the first time it happens. Another time, I spent an entire afternoon debugging my code, only to find out I had misplaced a single semicolon. A semicolon! And one time, I was trying to add a sliding feature to my multiplayer game after Blast, but it ended up taking almost an entire month pulling my hair out because as it turns out, once you add one line of code, you have to rewrite the other code that you just broke. You can procrastinate so much more with Unity than with Scratch, because with Scratch, you literally have zero excuses. Imagine spending 30 minutes fixing a bug on Scratch. It's practically impossible. There is so little room for error in Scratch that it's not a problem if you run into a bug. When you drag out blocks of code in Scratch and press the green flag, Scratch Scratch just runs the code, no matter if it works or not. But if you type out the code in a programming language, the game won't run if you make a spelling mistake or type out the wrong function or variable. It's only with Unity that I started creating 3D games and publishing my games to Steam. These are things I could have never done or even found out existed with Scratch. Honestly, it's not even Scratch's fault at this point. Scratch is meant for absolute beginners, and once you learn the easy to use coding language, you're going to be held back by Scratch, so learning new programs like Unity or even Godot, Unreal Engine, or other game engines 
Origins is a must if you want to expand your knowledge in gaming. So, would I recommend switching from Scratch to Unity or other game engines? If you're just starting out, Scratch is amazing. I would honestly suggest maybe you stick to another Scratch-like website like Gandhi IDE, which has more add-ons and usability than Scratch. But if you want to take your game dev skills to the next level, ditching Scratch is definitely going to be worth it.